right, everyone. So in math this week, you are going to be needing to use a 10 frame to answer some story problems. You're gonna be doing some join story problems and some separate story problems, or we can call it addition and subtraction. But you will need a 10 frame. So this is my introduction video just to show you how you can use some different things at home to make your 10 frame. So one of my favorite things to use is just a plain old egg carton. But as you know, egg cartons have too many. There's 12 spaces in an egg carton. And you know what? How many do we need for a 10 frame? Yeah, 10. So we have to cut two of these off. So I'm gonna show you real quick how to make a nice little 10 frame out of an egg carton. You're gonna take your egg carton, you can cut the lid off. I'm gonna turn around. You can cut the lid right off. Okay. But now, like I said, an egg carton has 12 and we only need 10. So you can take two off of this end or two off of this end. It makes it really easy. So I'm gonna pick these two at the at the um, bottom of the end of my turn frame here. And you might want mom or dad to help, but just cut the little end off where it has two little egg cups. See that? I've got two of them there. I just cut them off the end. And now I'm left with a really lovely 10 frame. Look, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five on the top row, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and another five on the bottom to make a total of ten. So now I have a really perfect ten frame for any math story. You can put Cheerios in it if you're using those as your counters, or you can use crayons as your counters. It really holds them up very well um, for any kind of our math, for any of our math stories today that we have all this week, okay? So after that, if you don't have an egg carton, you can use a piece of paper. Watch this cool thing. You can just take a piece of paper, and I like to hold it the long, long way, like so it's up and down this way, and then fold it in half. Remember we talked about half earlier um, in our other fraction unit. And here, you can fold it in half the long, long, long way. Some people call it a hot dog fold, hot dog bun, because it looks like a hot dog bun. It's long and skinny. You can fold it that way. So then you can just draw the five boxes on the top and match them up with five boxes on the bottom and that will give you a nice 10 frame as well. I'll do it real quick to show you. You won't be able to see in the video, but you can see I'm just gonna go. And five. And then I'll draw across that middle line, makes it easy. Okay. So, there's my 10 frame. See, we can count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And you see that mine aren't really straight. That's okay, they don't have to be perfectly straight. It's just so that you have five on the top row and five on the bottom. So those are just two really easy ways to make your own 10 frame. And here's another way to make a 10 frame. If you have some sticky notes, you can just put five sticky notes on the top row and then five on right under on another row. One, two, three. I'm just putting them on the table. Four and five. So there I have just the sticky notes 
on the top row, five, and right underneath I can put five more to make a nice little tin frame that I can work on right at my kitchen table. So there you have a couple of ways to make 10 frames for this week's math lessons. Yeah, look, let's see if I can get this finished. And there you go. You have a nice little 10 frame with sticky notes. So that's three easy ways to make 10 frames. Um, whatever you can do to get five on the top and five on the bottom, it works great. And like we said, you can use anything as your counters. Cheerios, goldfish, crayons, pennies, whatever you want to represent your story. Um, also know that this week you will be um, solving a variety of story problems, either by joining or separating or adding and subtracting. Um, so make sure you're thinking about those things as you use your 10 frames this week. And I'll look forward to seeing your work.